Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Vanco Leisure 510. This is a 1080p HD projector. It has 3600 lux of light output, and it also has a sound system that is compatible with Dolby. All that for only $200 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. As you can see, the box has a handle that does make it very easy to carry. The Leisure 510 does come in a cardboard box, and I like that because you can recycle it. All right, let's pull this out. Looks like this is all wrapped up in a nice air case. Pull the projector out of this little air case thing. And then as you can see here, it comes in an awesome carrying case. It does seem to be protective. You have some pockets, and then you also have these little handles on it. It looks pretty good as well. So first I can feel there's something in this pocket. Let's see what we have here. We have some marketing material, quick start guide, and then a user's manual. All right, so let's open up this case here. Check out the projector. So as you can see, the case does open up basically all the way, so you can totally remove the projector, no having to kind of squeeze it in there. The projector right here, I'll set that to the side, see what else is in this case. Looks like we have a little pocket here, and that includes some cables, and looks like a remote control. So the cables we have here, we have a power cable. It does require a ground outlet. We have an adapter for an RCA cable, and we also have an HDMI cable. The remote control does require two AAA batteries, and they're not included. All right, so we'll remove the projector from the bag. All right, it looks really cool, very nice looking projector. Nice Vankyo logo on the top, and as you can see, you have some buttons up here. You have some directional buttons, an enter button, and then some other control buttons here, including a power button. You also have some ways to change the projection, such as focus and keystone, so we'll get into those later. In the back here, you have some connectors. You have the power connector right here, as well as a power button. You have a VGA connector two HDMI connectors, a five volt out USB connector, a USB connector for adding data to the device, the AV cable that goes to RCA, and that's what we have the adapter for, and then a headphone jack out, and then we also have a micro SD port. On the sides here, we have the speakers. I can see them. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera. They're on both sides. And then in the front, we have what looks like some holes, maybe for speakers or letting heat out. And we have the lens right here. On the bottom of the vise, you have these little pegs, and they have rubber on the bottom, and that keeps it kind of stable. So if you have it on a table or something, it won't move. You'll have to buy an accessory from Vanco. It kind of creates a platform for the entire projector to sit on top of a tripod. And I'll have a link to those in the description as well. And then one cool thing on the front here, we have this little tab that comes out if you push the button, and that allows the projector to be tilted up towards the screen. You can even push the button and push it in and then release the button and it'll stay where it's at. So if you want to have different height, different angles towards the screen, you can do that here. All right, so now that we've checked out the projector, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. We'll get a screen up, and then we'll see how this looks and sounds. All right, so I have the Leisure 510 plugged into the wall. I want to show you something really cool that it's, I do find very interesting about this projector, and that is this 5-volt out connector, this USB connector right here. So the beauty of having that is I can connect a Chromecast to one of the HDMI connectors, and then I can power it with this connector. So that just makes it really easy. You don't have to have a ton of wires or anything. And you can easily have a nice small USB cord and then you're powering everything that you need to watch shows, anything you need to watch. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. See the power button turned on right here. And you can hear the fan going. It's really not too loud. I'm surprised that it's not that loud. All right, so now that we have all of the connectors set up, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pointed at my projector screen and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I have the projector hooked up to my Chromecast and I'm displaying it on my portable projector screen. This is the Vankyo 120 inch projector screen. So check the link in the description if you wanna see a review of that as well as where you can find it on Amazon. But as you can see, when you turn on the device, you do get the option to choose the language. Once you choose the language, you just moved on to where it's going to display whatever is being input into it. The projection is very, very clear and the colors are extremely bright and beautiful looking. The projector is about 10 feet away from the screen, and that is resulting in about an eight foot diagonal across picture on the wall. By the way, I have the camera placed kind of about a foot away from the projector so you can hear the fan, get an idea of how loud it is. The fan is not too loud, but it is loud enough to hear. I don't think it would take away from the viewing experience or though. All right, so let's check out the menu here, kind of show you the different options that are available. As you can see in picture, we have the ability to select a couple different pre-made picture settings. So they have standard, soft, user, which is where you can configure it. And then they have dynamic, which automatically configures the display settings based on the light in the room. So as you can see, it definitely looks the best at this point. It, there is a little bit of light coming from my computer and also the windows. It, it is daylight outside, but I'd have them closed right now. So just a quick comparison, dynamic and then standard. 
So in here you also can change the color temperature, the aspect ratio, noise reduction, and then change the font as well as image scaling. Moving over to audio, you can change the balance. You can have auto volume on and off, which I guess is good for commercials. So if they usually boost the volume on those, it'll automatically lower that volume so that it's kind of at an even level. And then it looks like there is surround sound built into the speakers here as well. So that's pretty cool. Moving over to time, you can set the clock. You can have the device automatically turn on and off and also set a sleep timer. So that's, you know, normal things that you would have on a TV. And then in the options, you can do a software upgrade. So you can go on their website, download the software to a flash drive, plug it into the projector, and then update the software. Uh, I'll probably have a separate video on how to do that. And then you can restore the factory defaults and change different settings within there. All right, so now that we've gone through the settings, I'll go ahead and play a YouTube video. This is my channel's trailer, just so you can kind of see what video looks like on this and also get an idea of the speakers as well. So as you can see in the top left, you do get a little thing telling you when the volume is turning up and down as well when you're muting it right there. So as you can see, the video looks good even if you're close to it as well. Very surprising. So with that simple step, free software really made the audio sound a lot better, more professional. And as you can hear, the speakers get very loud. So now that we've watched the video through the Chromecast, I thought it would be beneficial to show you what it looks like to, when I plug a USB flash drive into the device and we look at the media there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to where we can choose the source, and then I'm going to go to multimedia. Alright, so in here we can select which type of media we want to select. I obviously have a video, so I'm going to go to movie, and then I'm going to select the actual drive. And then here I can select the folder. So this would show different folders if you had multiple folders. I only have one. And then I'll go ahead and play this and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, I can see the file type. It's showing the video symbol. And then the file name on the bottom of the icon. So I'll go ahead and just select an episode. Now I do have the option of selecting the fast forward and pause buttons. I can pause it real quick. And you can even fast forward very quickly at 8 times, 16 times, 32 times. Get from there to here. And then you can play it again. There's no one answer. So it looks really good. Climate change, the domestication of fire, invention of tools. And it sounds great as well. And I was also really happy with how quickly it loaded the file. And then as you can see, if I press the OK button, it brings up some options I have here to fast forward, to change to the next video. We live. Then you can even have it repeat or even play random videos. You also have the option to zoom in, zoom out. You also have the ability to see info on the file, give you the file size, the full title of the video, plus the format of it. This is a MP4 video. And then you can build playlist so that you can play only specific files based on the, the play playlist. All right, so that was a quick example of the Vankyo Leisure 510. As you saw, the video was very clear. The audio got pretty loud, and it was also very clear in the room. It did come with this nice lens protector that kind of just like snaps into the lens, which I think is great because you can protect it, and it also means that the lens won't get destroyed or messed up at all. So when I was setting up the projector, I did have to change the keystone in the focus. The keystone changes the way that the picture is projected on the wall from kind of like a twisting motion like this. So so you can make the tops longer or the bottoms longer. So it kind of compensates if you have the projector at a tilt like this. You need to adjust for the angle that it's displaying on a flat surface. And then the focus just makes sure it's in focus. Now it's very easy to use these. They're very stiff and that makes it really easy to get only a very small adjustment. I did like that a lot. The buttons here are very easy to navigate and I like that the power button does come on when the projector is getting power so that you know, hey, is the bulb burnt out or whatever, you know that the projector is getting power. 
As you can see, you do get a little bit of sound when you actually hit the button, so you get some feedback there. I like that. Real quick, the remote control is extremely responsive. I found it to be both responsive from the front and the back. I could even point it at the ceiling. It didn't matter. The projector would pick it up. So in the video, I showed you HDMI, and I also showed you some data from a USB flash drive. Both of these work great, and I even used the 5 volt out to power the Chromecast, and that works awesome as well. And I think that's probably the best way to use this device because you don't have to worry about having any wires running anywhere. You can just power the Chromecast with with the USB and then plug it into the HDMI and then you can play any show you want to, Netflix, YouTube, anything like that, all with the sound coming through the projector as well. This device has a lot of settings so you can really critique those the way you want them and I found the dynamic picture to look the best and I think that that's probably the best setting to have it on only because projectors are really affected by how much light is in the room and that's going to allow the projector to automatically adjust to that change in light. So very good there. The sound coming from the fan in the Leisure 510 was really not too bad at all. It was noticeable, but like I said in the video, I don't think it's gonna take away from the experience of a movie or something like that. And it does send out a little bit of heat, so that's something to remember. It wasn't enough to really heat the room, but it is gonna be noticeable if it's already on a hot summer day, something like that. So overall, I think the Vankyo Leisure 510 is a great projector, and for, for a price of $200, you have the capability of having a very large and clear projection on your wall for not too much money, and it also has great sound as well. So that was the Vankyo Leisure 510. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.